So back in September 2020, I quit my full-time job to pursue my dream of being a filmmaker and building my own business. This meant that I freed myself from being accountable to anyone else's time constraints and had full control over what time I would start and finish work, what my tasks for the day would be, and essentially I worked towards my own goals and not someone else's. So this all sounds great, right? What could possibly go wrong? The answer? Self-discipline. Working for someone else meant that I had set tasks for the day and didn't have to plan out much. Now that I have the freedom to do what I want each and every day, I find myself getting up at different times every morning, either working ridiculously long hours or clocking off earlier than I perhaps should have to play video games. Then it hit me. I need a daily routine. A routine to keep tasks and productivity front of mind, while allowing me to switch off mentally in the allocated periods of time where I shouldn't be working. Like right now when I'm sitting in bed at 10 p.m. at night, writing a script. Start again in the morning, Andrew. Okay, so first things first, I don't want to make a daily routine that's going to be way over the top and make my life miserable. The routine should improve my quality of life, help me achieve my daily goals, and actually allow me to enjoy my downtime. Knowing everything is organized and under control. So what should be in a daily routine? Let's start with the morning. First things first, I should eat breakfast, which is something I often don't do because I'm in a hurry to start my day after sleeping a little bit longer than I should have. I guess that means I should have a set time that I wake up. My earliest morning requires me to get out of bed at 7 a.m., so let's go with that. Every morning before work, I go to get my coffee. I actually drive to the shops where I used to work because I like the coffee there and it allows me to clear my mind for the day. Work. Next up, I start work typically between 8.30 and 9 a.m. But now that I'm getting out of bed every morning at 7 a.m., I guess I can start at 8.30 every morning. I like to start my day with a quick 10 minute planning session where I map out what needs to be completed during the day. 8.40, start my first edit. I like to get all my editing done early in the day. So when I go out and film later on, I don't have clients waiting around for their videos to arrive. Around 10 a.m. I'll check my emails, respond to client bookings, and then start the next video edit. Exercise. I guess a daily routine should involve exercise. I already do boxing on a Wednesday at 11 a.m. and climb the thousand steps on a Sunday with my girlfriend. I should, however, aim to do something every day during the working week to help break up the time I spend sitting in front of the computer and again, clear my mind. I actually have another video coming out on this, so I don't want to give too much away, but let's just say that I'm adding in exercise every day. Filming. 11.30, I have a quick shower after my workout then jump in the car and head to my first shoot. I film a lot of real estate and will often film between two to three houses every day. The time of each shoot varies from day to day. However, let's say that I'm regularly home around 4 p.m. Next, I'll check my emails again, and then I'll respond to any emails or calls which I haven't been able to respond to while filming. Script writing. 4.10, script writing for YouTube videos. Creating videos requires a lot of planning about the topic and how I want to present the video. I also plan a shot list for each video so I know which clips I need to film. It's how I knew in advance to wink at you in this scene. I planned it. Gaming. As I mentioned before, I love gaming, and at 4.45 onwards, I'm free to play, without feeling guilty that I should be working. Free time. 7.15. This time will be allocated to me doing anything that I feel like doing during the moment, spending time with my girlfriend, watching Netflix, or doing a little bit more script writing. Conclusion. So that's my daily routine. Something I've learned about myself over the years is, I learn as I go. But something else I've learned is I just need to start. So what's your daily routine going to be? There's no better time than now to start.